So maybe coolest new adventure yet. I am at the Horizon Grand Prix, which is a high school competition between a bunch of different high schools and middle schools where they're doing a set of three hour endurance races with radio control cars. Now the teams have some rules that they have to follow and guidelines for all the building, but for the most part, they're left to their own devices on sorting out what they want to do. They got to design their own bodies. There's a battery pack power plant and there's a hydrogen uh, cell as well that they use to combine to power the vehicle so the teams get to decide how those systems kind of do the work in the vehicle and they have mentors and team assignments Let's design go, guys, guys one drivers one all that and i'm out here to check team, this all out driver. help these guys out with like race deals here from pch he's awesome helping the kids but yeah we're gonna right check this out to be awesome so you have 7200 mod today and 12 hydro sticks to make it throughout the entire race. Going fast is not the objective of this race. It's to see who can go the furthest distance on the least amount of fuel. If you're going fast, you're not gonna make it the whole race. Your goal as a team should be able to make it all three hours. If you do that, it's a huge feat. So try for that. Steven, would you like to say anything to the drivers? Good luck. Good luck. The basics are they have a milliamp capacity limit based off their uh, rechargeable batteries and they have X amount of hydrogen sticks that they get to use to make this all happen. Right now, these are just the pace laps. The race is just underway. On the first lap, I missed the start. Sure can lose it. But the blue, so make sure you guys are being this nice is the lead patient. battle coming through that Easy center does section. It out there, guys. You see the quicker cars right there, the 15, 26, and that guy, the 27? But these guys are running, uh, most of them are running like a two cell LiPo or a six cell nickel metal hydride. And then the hydrogen system seems to power other things in the vehicle. I haven't got down close on one yet, but find that all out. It's very cool though, kids are wheeling. So we're like 20 minutes into it so far. There's been some attrition, a couple cars breaking down, but they get to bring them to the pits and fix them. So we got a couple pit stops happening. That's what these little slots are along here. And right now, the battle is clearly between this uh, green and white guy right here. That's Oakwood team. And that second spot, our leader, is going to be this guy right here, the orange and white. Cool stuff. You can tell the teams that practice. All right, I think we're coming up on like maybe 45 minutes or so. The timer went down, we don't know. But they see that light turned on, that means they need their car. So they flagged on a marshal and he grabs it and runs it over there. But the teams are chugging along. Some of them getting better, some of them getting worse. There's a lot of uh, car carnage, stuff dragging inside the cars. Wires loose, dang. The second group of teams are moving in here and it's a whole nother set of I think 20 teams or 18 teams. So they run two three hour endurance races and the top 13 teams move on to the state finals. Uh, this is, this company's called uh, Horizon and they work with Toyota and they put this thing on and Horizon offers these hydrogen fuel cell things. And they're over there. I'll get some close ups of that. It's a high school gymnasium. This place is called the Steam Legacy. It is starting right now, so make sure you guys are in your pit stalls and the we judges are coming not around. Not just awards so get out, get for the finishing up. positions. Judges are coming around for a design MacGyver chair. award. And I was wondering, like, how many of these kids actually know who MacGyver is? Because that's a really old TV show from when I was a kid. This is sweet. Your I booth. We got giveaways over here, shirts for kids. Yeah, I'm wondering. Oh, it's in the books. These are the results. Can you please turn in your transponder. The top turn off 13 the teams. Let's see all get to race here. again at the state championships that are coming up later. And this was an amazing event. It was dual three hour endurance races. They had a fixed amount of milliamps and a fixed amount of hydrogen cells that they could use to make everything happen. 
It's a lot of these teams, they, uh, this is our first year racing here. There's a couple of teams are back for a second year, but it's very impressive to see the teams working together, doing the pit stops and all that. And like a high school and a middle school program that races RC cars in this very nice gymnasium. Come on. So super awesome. Uh, the Horizon Grand Prix is what it's called. It's brought to you by our good friends at a Toyota Mirai, the hydrogen powered real car. So very cool stuff here. And uh, I'll get to do a few more of these. I'm very excited. I'm going to bring the camera along to all of them, get you guys some more racing action next time. It's a good time. Thanks a lot.